you knew we were going to get to this eventually. It's the sequel to Luigi's Mansion, a game I really enjoyed, but it's now very different. <laughs> uh, oh really, my gosh, me, the we're... only difference in difference is length. <laughs> oh my gosh, we're such Chug Conroy ripoffs, jeez. I recorded this before Emil did. Yeah, but we uploaded <laughs> it after. So but we it took is. a hell of a lot longer to get to it. Must what a... be mean. <laughs> Okay, now you guys are just being rude. <laughs> you know, if the souls of the deceased could be so easily corrupted en masse, uh, I'd be very worried for the people who are still living. Because, like, what does that say about how easy they are to control? That's called the media, Lewis. Yeah, no, no, I would say that if you're a spirit, you're easily corruptible. But if you Fun have fact, the flesh and blood, no. I think it's the, uh... C or D rank? How, uh, how average? Well, how you know. Ti how typical, Luigi. <laughs> could just say, you know, Mario went gambling and Luigi had to pay off his debts, so he sold the house. Hey, story of my fucking life. He didn't even get to eat the the cookie that's on the, the on the plate there. Poor guy. He was waiting for Santa. Luigi, it's six months early. <laughs> Christmas creep, you know. <laughs> it's July. Christmas could be in July. Hmm. Ghost troubles, huh? Was this... Who are you gonna call? Someone else. Uh, now, what's interesting about this game is basically the only reason why it exists is because Miyamoto threw a temper tantrum and said, I want to make a new Luigi's Mansion! And Nintendo was like, fine. <laughs> so... <laughs> my only huge complaint with the DS original was that the power button was right above the D-pad. So if you were mashing that thing a little bit too hard, you could very easily ma hit the power button and turn your game off by mistake. Uh, you want to talk about power button problems? The original 3DS. Oh god. Fuck that thing. Oh, I'm trying to <laughs> wait. Hold on. I need to pull it up. Yeah. Where? Where the hell? Oh yeah, it was right underneath. Uh, it, you, you could yeah. very easily hit that with the palm of your hand. Pressing the, no, the you you go to pause. You go to pause the game. You push the button. You push a button, one button to the side by accident, and it closes your game without asking you to confirm. But it will ask you to confirm whether or not you want to turn the system off. <laughs> well, th that's why you hit the power button. Of course. Yeah, but th yeah, the, the power button. Like on on all the 3DS models, it's it, it's it's better on the XL because the buttons aren't as stupid. But on all the 3DS models, you hit that power button, it closes out your game. You're not getting that back. It might as well have turned the system off. To me. Okay, why was there a door pattern curtain over the door? Because they love doors. They love doors so much that they have posters of doors above their doors. <sighs> This thing, Palter Pup. Oh, it's adorable, though. It's gonna sell so many amiibos. That's horrifying. We here at Nintendo prioritize what's important. I I enjoy it when Mario franchise stuff has this kind of personality to it. Yeah. You dumbass. Oh, you mean cause, you mean because normally Mario has no personality. <laughs> <laughs> oh, the, the Palter Pup. Watch out! The Palter Pup is here. <laughs> I never bothered finding no, that's all of my the... sister's dog. I never bothered finding all the gems. <laughs> well, that was nice timing. Oh boy, after all that plot and calling for me, Gad, we're actually going to be, you know, doing stuff now. Yay. Well, we had a nice hearty tutorial mission last time, didn't we? I yeah, mean, it was he's... a lot of calls for me, Gad, so finally he'll shut up for a bit. <laughs> Aren't you supposed to be incorporeal, dude? They're as incorporeal yeah, as they feel work. like, really. Yeah. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uncultured swine. <laughs> you got is a jerk in this game. Yeah, in the original game he was just kind of kooky, and this one he's just a straight-up asshole. <laughs> uh, he's had over a decade to think things over and realizes, you know, fuck it, I'm old. He's old, and he's bored. Do whatever I fucking want. <laughs> you know, because I know Mario games don't have any sort of continuity, but I always like to think that every game that's released up after is, takes place after, unless noted otherwise. And the only one that can note otherwise is Yoshi's Island. No. 
Uh, um, actually, John, Captain Toad takes place before Mario 3D World. And guess who funded 99.856% of his Kickstarter campaign? That's a very specific number. Well, there was I'd Peach, like but she was a cheapskate. It was mostly Luigi. Well, Peach can't use taxpayer funds on, on such high risk oh, yeah, she. Oh, yeah, she can. <laughs> No, she has to because use this, is, this, is, this. This isn't a democracy; it's a monarchy. She can do whatever the fuck she wants. Yeah, but she's too. Uh, no, I'm not saying because of like any sort of legal or ethical boundaries. She's too busy spending that money on the castle, golf course, tennis court, and baseball field, and party <laughs> and party room. Don't forget all the cart racing. Party room? Don't you mean party pocket dimension? Plural. In the center of every ghost is their own vacuum. The thing about walls is they don't move. That is your vacuum pulling you forward. Walls are physical objects. Ghosts are not. Again, <laughs> center of every ghost is a vacuum. A black hole. That's what you're pulling against. The point is, if something is able to move away from no, your vacuum... I don't want vacuum, to hear it, <laughs> I had enough of this logic. <laughs> if something is able to move away from your vacuum, it's moving away from the air. <laughs> and it is not pulling you along with it. I won't hear it. That was, that was funny. That was, that was good. Like, earlier yeah. when Luigi was being smacked by the door, you actually lost health, as opposed to just it being kind of a, like a, oh, he got hit, but nothing bad well, happened kind of thing. Yeah. You know, I, we could talk at length about that, or I could just direct all our viewers to watch the Nostalgia Critics video on Tom and Jerry. <laughs> um, because he says it better than I could. Um, I mean, granted, I've only watched, like, the first... 30 episodes, which supposedly isn't enough to get to the good part, so, um, okay, whatever. But from what yeah, I... Final Fantasy 13. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay, okay. I'll say this for basically anything, including Attack on Titan. If it takes that many episodes for things to get good, it, it's probably not worth saying that as if it's a good thing. That I have a little bit more leeway with that but with some shows it's like once you get to season three it's fantastic and i'm like i don't want to watch <laughs> two seasons but that's like 40 hours of television you're asking me to watch there. oh man so well even video games stretch it too far sometimes like final fantasy 13 dear god it takes like half the game for it to build any momentum at all gameplay wise uh there's the mission is quiet please <laughs> oh all right um Oh, okay, I'm sorry. So, uh, there's five missions for okay. every mansion, right? Uh, in the last one, I think it's four. Oh, okay. Or the, uh, Shh. second to last one. Okay. It's a quiet. <laughs> yes, sir. Everyone, you know, you know, that Ryan guy, he gets it right. <laughs> <laughs> everyone quiet. <laughs> uh, okay. Oh, man. Cause it's hard no, to God, I'm trying to pick things up. <laughs> There's a gold bar right there. It's going to disappear soon. Hang up. <laughs> she just oh. wanted her paycheck. Son of a bitch. You're right. You're absolutely right. Never thought about it that way. Are you talking about the new Ghostbusters movie? Yeah. Yeah. Oh. yeah that, that, that's what I was referencing. Oh, okay. <laughs> Here come the flood of comments. Patrick Swayze's ghost. See, I was trying to sneak that under the radar so that nobody who had actually not watched it would have an excuse to complain. But now the comment section is going to be a war zone. Okay, well, I'm gonna I'm gonna say it again. I like that movie. It was fun. Let's not start. <laughs> not allowed to say that. To... Not allowed to say that. Okay. Logically, it's the room you'd want to keep the cleanest, and yet, it never is. Well, the whole thing is is that the entire the entire house is in disarray, so, you know, it, it's not clean because nothing is clean. Hey, at least the gold bars in pristine condition. Hey, hey! I probably care about that sort of thing if they're just not in the right mind right now because the dark mood's broken up. You mean the Waluigi mood? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you see, it breaks and everyone goes all fucking Waluigi. Oh, this guy. I remember hating this guy. The ranks mean absolutely nothing, though, so don't pay attention to them whatsoever. You're no, just not true. you're just trying to to ignore the fact that you didn't get a, all three star. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So if you didn't get a all, the ranks don't mean anything. But if you got a perfect score, you're the best. No, so I never cared. About, I never cared about the ranks in these games. The ghosts live here. They don't actually own the house. Uh, I think our I think our metaphor is kind of falling apart here, guys. <laughs> no. You're falling apart. 
Oh, that's a different matter entirely. <laughs> Ghostbusters wouldn't have problems capturing the three ghosts. Um, I just think so. No, okay, it was only Dan... Okay, first off, Dan Aykroyd was the only one there, and I have an easy enough time believing that Ray would have trouble catching three ghosts on his own, because he doesn't <laughs> contribute anything ever. Yep. Yeah, there's going to be the, the desert mansion. It's not the second, though. Mansion. The mountain mansion. Don't ex don't ask. And then there's the even spookier mansion. <laughs> yes. Then there's the Spencer mansion. Well, Lewis got it. <laughs> no, I got it. it. Just wasn't funny. <laughs> well. We would so get killed there. <laughs> if only I could move the barbecue over. <laughs> If only there was some way I could suck up fire without it going out. What? Hey, Gad, what happened to the amulet thing I had? Uh, yabo yabo on the box. Alright, fuck you. I know you can speak perfect English. <laughs> Answer my question. Seriously, having a flamethrower would be hand for you right about now. <laughs> or at least a lighter. Matches. Oh, that's dangerous, Luigi. Some flint. <laughs> Goddamn bats. Oh, oh, but they give you money. <laughs> uh, yeah, I love bats. Can't get enough of those bats. Mmm, bats. Oh, you say bats that give you money, but you haven't lived until you've shot a crow in the forest and gotten a hand grenade for your trouble. Why am I in that kind of game? <laughs> What's Luigi gonna do with a hand grenade? Oh, he'll find a way. <laughs> you know, for a ghost, you're the godly solid. Yeah. Yeah, I'm gonna make him things invisible. That'll show him. Mission complete. You didn't get the mission accomplished, Luigi. But Don I'm not in on that. <laughs> Wait, what? I don't get that one. <laughs> <laughs> oh shit, the part's not over will. there. <laughs> no, it's not. Oh <laughs> <laughs> uh, shit, we gotta fill a bit of time. Well, we still have to listen to you guys talk a little bit. How's cleaning? How's cleaning? <laughs> That's pretty much what Luigi is right now. No, that's this entire mission. Cleaning up stuff. Oh, oh great. great. <laughs> <laughs> I like how Ted and I had the exact same reaction. Clean uh, is better than dirty. Wait, I, oh, wasn't, I wasn't even in that game. Okay. <laughs> Why are you so cruel? We just are. Because <laughs> the wild, <laughs> we just are. Because the wild Luigi moon is broken. That's right. Yeah, and until the dark moon's fixed, I'm, I'm more of a dick than I usually am. Oh man, that's like a 100% increase in dickitude. When blame wild Luigi. Dickitude. <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> like with the dark moon broken, Ted no longer has to care about using proper words. Oh, I don't care about using proper words most of the time anyway. We built the uh, the campfire with firewood, you know, the arranging oh, the firewood. I honestly thought you were going to say we built the campfire with fire. I was like, yes. <laughs> <laughs> that's, no, I, that's generally I, how you I do mean, it. Uh, so, mm. any sort of incendiary properties touching Luigi's magnificent stash. Fool me once, shame on you. Fool me twice, shame on me. Marla, fact, more like, more like, like why is this the only way to get in this room? <laughs> <laughs> God, there are a lot of webs here. I thought I was a Glassy Ghostbuster, not housekeeping. <laughs> yeah, that's good. This vacuum's good for a lot of things. It's cleaning up, but you know, did you ever hit it? Want to flick a switch, but it was all the way over there. If there was some way I could get the switch to come to me. Now, that, 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 that vault there didn't actually have any money in it. It just made money appear when you opened it. <laughs> <laughs> now it's everyone's favorite part of any handheld experience. Motion controls. Oh, wait, we don't fight the boss in this uh, mission. No. The bosses, are their own, their, their bosses are their own missions entirely. Okay. 
Excellent. Oh, does that mean we're fighting the boss this part and saying goodbye to this mansion forever? Yup, 25 minutes long, it better be. <laughs> but we did get all the gems. Yup. Good job, Brian. <laughs> oh, oh, um, one of my favorite little Flash uh, animations uh, before the game came out when they announced multiplayer was uh, it was just a whole bunch of Luigi sound clips and people like fucking the furniture like in the original Luigi's Mansion like oh yeah oh yeah Mario Mario <laughs> oh Mario <laughs> do it again do it again <laughs> I love Tower of Terror they're closing that down what uh oh what where at when? MGM at MGM in, in Florida yeah. No. They, n n n no. Yeah, they're, they're, they're closing it down to build something else. No! What, wrong! What, Simpsons Tower of Terror? Wrong! That is, that is wrong. I couldn't care less for the Tower of Terror, to be honest. Well, you don't have a soul. You belong in this mansion. And each yeah. boss is required to have three phases. Yeah, and they're all basically this ghost, too. Yeah. On the inside, but which is... It has infinite health. We cannot hope to win. Which is also a, a little bit what disappointing. What if I just suck it off enough? Um, it just, things felt more varied in the original Luigi's Mansion to me. And Ryan's getting his ass kicked. Nah, I still have 80 health. That's not bad. Right, but taking any damage is bad, Ryan. This is supposed to be a perfect run through. No mistakes. I already stopped the recording. <laughs> okay, you do it then, Ted. <laughs> From now on, every playthrough is done by Ted. It better be a world record perfect run hype. <laughs> and get down. I uh, can't turn it off. <laughs> ah, piece of the Waluigi moon. No wonder it was such a flick. Mm, sparkly. Sparky. If you put it to your ear, you can hear it talking to you. Hey, it's a good thing I'm this wearing gloves. This is it. The jewel containing the ultimate what? power. <laughs> Yeah, we can move on to the next area to find the next Waluigi moon piece. What would Waluigi's Mansion be like as a game? Um, Waluigi going into uh, Princess Peach's castle he, and just breaking everything. No, he just raids people's houses and steals everything. <laughs> There's no ghosts. He's just being just a dick. Funny. Yeah. <laughs> Make it Nintendo. So essentially how the Grinch stole Christmas. Yes. <laughs> Just replace the grid with Waluigi. We are now in the Towers of Terror. Because one isn't enough, apparently. We have two now, so... New area! <laughs> one, two... Money doesn't grow on trees is one of the most ironic yet true statements in, uh, in the world. Because you make it, money out yeah, of trees, it, It's like but... when you got 10,000 spoons, but all you need is a knife. <laughs> <laughs> uh, like, look, look, me and Alanis have some unresolved business that I don't want to be getting into our personal lives, okay? <laughs> and, and I guess a pair of boos next to each other would be boobies. How about new? Huh. Okay, now that's, See, just, rank that that's just that's I'd rank that in the shit tier <laughs> of boo puns. Well, yeah, that that is kind of a stretch. Uh, honestly, John. In fact, to that I say boo. Honestly, John, that pun is a pile of boo. Get it? Cause boo rhymes with poo. And poo is bad. Uh. Okay. Uh huh. Get it? The yeah. great muddy boo. Mm. <laughs> oh, shit. Luigi, that was a very nice ca carpet, and it's now just gonna get ruined in there. No, it's tacky. <gasps> well, okay, fine. It was a very. Also, was hiding a pit ball. It was also it was a very expensive carpet, okay? You want I see it home alone. If the kid dies. I, I don't think you've seen Home Alone at all, Luigi. <laughs> I've seen the Alleyed version. Yeah. <laughs> I have actually not seen Deadpool yet still. I need to get on that. You're the Marvel guy. You? Yeah, I just it a uh, Valentine's Day last year, it just never really I never really got around. It was this year. It was oh, this year. This year, sorry. Uh, it feels like forever ago. Um uh, nobody uh, at that time could go with me for one reason or another. My mom said no. Your mom you said no to Deadpool. <laughs> no, why, yeah, I thought you, why not just? Your parents said no. Why not just go yourself? Dude, that's depressing. <laughs> Have you ever gone to the movie well, theater I yourself? All the time. That is. But I go to movie. Yeah, I go to movies by myself all the time. To me, there is no better experience 
And I'm sorry if this makes me sound like an antisocial creep, though I do on the occasion go to the movies with fellow family members. I go to the first showing in the morning when no one's there, and I got the entire theater to myself. Yeah, you know, Ted, it's 10 a.m. in the movie theater here, but it's fucking like 3 p.m. in the UK. It's, after, so, it's yeah. always after 5 somewhere. <laughs> Yes. Yeah, but it, you're not going to wake up and be like, oh man, I'm going to have the best filet mignon when I get out of bed for breakfast. No. You can't eat burritos. I totally, I you, totally would. You have a, have a filet mignon. Okay, here's... Okay. You can't Dude, eat, you can't eat normal morning, burritos totally for breakfast, because then otherwise, what's the point of breakfast burritos, huh? Not, there's no point. <laughs> that's that's right. It is merely preference. Yeah, but my preference is Luigi, better. back me up on this. I'm sorry, you want me to yabble yabble what? Well, last English time. English motherfucker, do you speak game, it? But... I don't speak Yabonese. <laughs> I speak. I speak English pretty well. Go! Okay. You know, Luigi's mind goes through. <laughs> For a second, I thought that was just a case of really bad clipping. Um. <laughs> Uh, Luigi has way more mental fortitude than I would because if my day started with my foot going inside a wet bucket, just just go back to bed. It just ruins everything. Yeah, it's like I know you, I, probably, all I gotta do is just replace a sock, but it's no. still annoying. <laughs> yeah, and then that that shoe's wet, and what happens to wet shoes? They stink. You know, I had a point and it's gone. Never mind. Um. <laughs> <laughs> because you stepped in the bucket. <laughs> I own a I own a Nintendo Monopoly game. I'm pretty sure the Luigi Space is Park Place and Mario gets to be Boardwalk. <laughs> what else is new? What was the six one just not good enough for you? You know, Luigi, you could have caught them all right there. You wouldn't even need to have gotten up. Oh man. Well, guess I can't get in. Better go home. <laughs> oh, Egad, the worst thing just happened. Looks like the door won't open. I'm going to go take a nap now. The railroad spots is Kirby on a star, an R-Wing, Mario in a go-kart, and the Blue Falcon. Uh, oh, that's F-Zero's only reference. <laughs> yeah. I, well, at I'm least, it, got, at at the least it did get referenced. <laughs> the F-Zero cars never stop, so there's no parking. <laughs> <laughs> so wait, the, then how does Captain Falcon get out when the race is over? And does just jumps out? And does he have to get a new Blue Falcon for every race? Yeah. So most of the, so every time Captain Falcon get, uh, summons it, it gets really excited, thinking, "Oh boy, I'm gonna do a race!" But then it's just another final smash, and it gets really disappointed. Yeah, and then he's then further aggravated because he realizes he's now inside the car and he can't get out because it doesn't stop, and he's hoping there's another giant rob that he can uh, punch in the face okay. <laughs> to stop his momentum. You get really into our fan theories there, John. So, Mario, despite all of his riches, is a... F is a bum? No, he's not a bum. He's just... He's, he walks he's the earth. He's just a freeloader. There's a difference. <laughs> he's like Squidward in that one episode of Spongebob. Oh, which one? There's like 600. Oh. The, the one where he's the one where he's in his bed for the entire time. Where he's in SpongeBob's bed for the entire time. Yeah, but Mario has money. He has a considerable source of yeah, income. Yeah, but why would he spend... And he doesn't have his own yeah, house. But, John, why would he spend his own money if he can live in Luigi's house for free? That freeloading son of a bitch. And you're surprised? Yeah, in the Mario and Luigi series, he uses Luigi's shower, too. Fuck him. <laughs> When you walk up to a 3D model of an enemy and hit it with your 3D model of a sword, it visibly looks like the sword is passing through or over the uh, the enemy character model. So when you hear that miss sound effect, it's like, okay, what the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> now, when it says hollow tree, does it mean there's nothing inside the tree? Or is it a sacred tree? No, it's a... Uh... Ghost Batty from Bleach. There you go. Oh, okay. Then. Your reference is lost on me, Ryan. You weeb. I don't watch Naruto. That's a big fucking pipe. <laughs> I'm gonna need it after this. <laughs> yeah. Look at that hotel's covered in plants. <laughs> the plants are trying to eat me. It's 
it's for medicinal reasons, I swear to God. Oh, that's adorable. He tries to wave at it. Too bad it's trying to eat me. <laughs> you can still be friends with Man, it. Man, these ungrateful plants, you water them, and they give you money, and you think everything's good, and then suddenly they for turn into to blood-sucking monsters. But enough about my ex-wife. <laughs> Befriending the man-eating plants is the first step to winning the war. So really, it's not all that, that like, uh, mean-spirited or anything. Ted. You're just... I believe as a kid you believed everyone really did go to Hiffel when they died. <laughs> or that when you lost card games you went to the Shadow Realm. Hey, dude, the Shadow Realm is even worse than going to, 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 to just being dead, okay? We don't know what happens after we die in this universe or the Yu-Gi-Oh! one. But in the Shadow Realm, your soul gets tortured for all eternity, and that's some pretty dark shit, okay? Don't like knock by the standing in, what, by standing in purple forever? Yeah, like you can't even watch TV down there, it's bullshit. Oh, God. There's no point in watching Yu-Gi-Oh! The anime is about the most cheap and budget animated thing you'll ever see. It's almost uh, no. like they're playing a card game. No, 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 no I will no, contest okay. you for that, Lewis, because I've watched plenty of Yu-Gi-Oh! GX. No, 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 okay, well, <laughs> GX, GX is by extension the same thing by the same people, just with different characters. <laughs> Ash doesn't win. Ash just delays his, until his next loss. <laughs> <laughs> Also, oh no, I the just... door is shut again. I guess I'll go home now. <laughs> Man, this is just coming up Luigi. I don't have to do shit. I've I'm always wanted to jumping. go bungee jumping. <laughs> oh, here I go. <laughs> Nothing stopping from just walking back down the stairs, but okay. Suddenly I'm having flashbacks. Yeah, why can't we just go the... back down the stairs? Suddenly also... I'm having flashbacks to that one time we did a live action movie. <laughs> Not to mention, Luigi, you can jump several you can jump several dozen feet at any given time. Why you don't Holy take shit, fall you're damage. Right. <laughs> oh look! A toad is trapped in a painting. It would really Oh that's too bad. Oh damn it. I have Ryan. no choice. I have to do it to beat the mission. <laughs> Come on, do your stupid voice. You're free? Uh my, oh. my... <laughs> Great, I was looking for a... Oh, he attached very quickly. <laughs> uh, he, it's that smile on his face. I was about He's to... not relieved. He looks affectionate. I might have been thinking, but this is ridiculous. <laughs> yeah, he's, he's, uh, the, the fungus is finally acting like a fungus. Oh, he's so scared. Oh. Latches on, won't leave. Can I eat him? He gets in between the toes. He's oh, a mushroom. Why? It makes it's me bigger. disgusting. Now, I will say the one... The one redeeming aspect <laughs> of having these toads in this game is that you can severely fuck with them. Smack them into walls. The smack them into walls. Like that. <laughs> Throw them into the greatest spheres. Come on. What happens if you toss Play them the into a bottomless here. pit again? <laughs> uh, <laughs> let's find out. Let's find out. Let's find out. Link destroys uh, his home country whenever he saves people all yeah, the time. Yeah, but he doesn't fucking yeah, he does. walk on fire. Uh, you want to yeah, yeah, talk right about <laughs> nothing left to save? Doesn't Mario break all the blocks? The bricks? Aren't they the toads? Eh, they come back. Look, casualties of war. You gotta have a few sacrifices here and there. A few, but not everyone in the kingdom. You can't make an omelet without breaking eggs. They're mushrooms, that's not eggs. That's a delicious. You can put om you can put mushrooms in omelets. Yeah, but you can make an omelet without putting mushrooms in. Shut up. <laughs> oh man. So narrow-minded. Get the gold. <laughs> oh, and I guess help the toad too as well. Yeah. Uh. Oh, sorry, is it going in a praying stance? When you have it on the, the mouse. Uh, it... Oh, great, Luigi! Send me to the ever beyond with your backpack of mystery. The things I do for love. I'm here at last! The ethereal plane! Um, uh, what do you mean, no, Toad? He's right there. Just... Oh, now it looks. What are those hand gestures just telling you to hurry up? Good riddance with you. Oh, man. The video's still going on. Oh, well, we gotta have our post credit EGAD telling a... us we're stupid thing. Because that's what he does. Yeah, but he... no, it's more like scolding Luigi. Is like, what have you wrought? <laughs> As the toad is now running wildly in his basement. 
No, we just keep it in the vault with the ghosts. It'll be fine there, probably. I would love it if just a toe was just running around wildly in the background for no reason. Hey guys, pool party. Uh, no. Man, no. I'm trying. I'm trying here. <laughs> Man, pool, you know. Talk it out. Besides, you need to have like a nice pool. Because, like, when I was a kid, like, some people would be like, oh, man, we're going to have a pool party. And we're like, oh, yeah. But then they have, like, one of those, like, pools that's just, like, a gigantic bucket that you fill with water from the hose. And then you're just really disappointed. <laughs> and your parents are crying at their water bill. Yeah. The bottom floor has a lot of walls separating the rooms, and it's, it, it's really small and cramped feeling. He just knocked out all the walls so that the b bottom floor of the house is really spacious and open now. <laughs> wub, 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 wub. <laughs> Luigi, you totally knew that was there. You're just fucking with us, didn't you? Aren't you? This is a greenhouse kind of place that has been left to rot for so long that the plants have grown out of control. Which is supposed to make sense. Oh, well, great. A haunted place and a doll. This can't end well. So you gotta kill the plant to proceed. You gotta get to the root of the problem. Exactly. <laughs> is that an actual Resident Evil line? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> and you're missing out. Yeah. Oh, uh, I knew that they did a... I, okay, slight, slight interruption. I knew that they did a booby joke, but I forgot that it was for booby trap and not, like, actual boobies. Okay. Lame. <laughs> and, uh... uh <laughs> oh, God. What? <laughs> I, that was random. Dude, the fuck? <laughs> this is not a pillow fight of sexy college girls. Eternally sleeping here, Jesus. If, what if they're what if they're the ghosts of sexy college, college girls? I think the voice of Chris in the original Resident Evil 1 was the voice of Richter in Castlevania Symphony of the Night. <laughs> Might be. Die, monster. <laughs> Hi, uh, zombie. I, I still I still laugh when I think about Resident Evil Director's Cut, though, because it was supposed to be the uncut version of the game, but they legitimately forgot to replace the opening cutscene with the uncensored version where Chris is smoking. Pocket <laughs> dimension. Ah, red coins. Damn it. I thought we were free of these things. Oh, I don't remember these ghosts at all. Way to go, asshole. That was the only ghost ditto in the entire region. It's fine now. Yeah, but now we're never gonna now we're never gonna be able to breed ghosts. Well, what? I mean you can, but you're not gonna be able to do it as easily. That ditto is supposed to live in the daycare center for the rest of its life. <laughs> <laughs> okay. You know, I work too hard. I should take a up. <laughs> Alright, shit, even the bench is having against me. This is why we never got Super Luigi Sunshine. Fuck this place. One star out of you. <laughs> Time to get that special key, even though it's for, for a tree, so I can just burn it. <laughs> no, we don't have the elemental thingy this time. Yeah. God oh. damn it. <laughs> oh, you! <laughs> okay, this is when I turn the game off, because I don't have time for this shit. Fourteen oh one. No, 14.00.01. <laughs> <laughs> It happens. <laughs> yes, it I definitely believe. does indeed happen. Yes, it does. May they never know. Tell me. Are you putting it in the review? <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> <laughs> Dare I ask, but well, the review will probably be up before this goes up, so. Well, yeah, it'll be way up before this goes up. Uh, me, John, and Derek were playing Federation Force for his review. Uh, you get a time bonus if you finish the mission within a certain amount of time. And you get a lot of points, which will help you get three medals on a given rank. Um, the time was the time limit was 14 minutes. We got 14.01 for one mission. <laughs> <laughs> Literally 14.01. It was infuriating. <laughs> uh. Time to go after that stupid dog. Booga 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 booga. Gone dog. It's a dog on key, you see. It's it's gone because of the dog. And Stupid it's gone dog. With the dog. The dog is gone with the key. Dog Stupid dog. You make me look bad. Is God. Which means nothing. Da toilet humor. Hey. 
Wait, but it's not peeing anything. No. You know, I never thought I'd ever have to think about ghost piss. Sweet you had plenty of time to flash the strobe bulb. Uh, Star Roche until the end of time on the PS2, which is a phenomenal game, by the way. A phenomenal game with a really dumb plot, but a phenomenal game. Um, yeah, the, the protagonist's name is Fate Line God. And wow. it's, it spells fate with a Y. I just so had that... an aneurysm just hearing that name. <laughs> oh, miraculous, I survived. Spot the main character. <laughs> I guess they, I don't know, maybe they got the 13-year-old the, the, the fan fiction writer to name the, the characters or something. I, I don't know. Hey, kids, guess the protagonist. Is it 32-year-old middle-aged balding Bob over here? Or 14-year-old up-and-coming middle schooler Destiny? <laughs> well, what? Okay, uh... What country was this game made in? Because then we'd be able to tell. And that's the end of that blob. Never mind. No, you're not. <laughs> Bad enemy. It just wants somebody to play with, guys. Aww. And it, it got to play the world's most epic case game of God of... Uh, why did I say God of War? I was going to say Tug of War. Uh, <laughs> the, it's Lewis. You just got the, the letters mixed up. Dog of War. <laughs> oh, okay. Yeah. Uh, Cod of War. <laughs> no, that's a fish. But it's a costume. <laughs> yes, it is. <laughs> and I will show it off. <laughs> Wait, that's a that's a costume in a God of War game. God yeah, of War Cod, Cod of War. Is Cod he just War. wearing a fish suit? It's a fish yep. costume. <laughs> yeah. You know, I know that the thing's supposed to look like a terrifying mouth, but in the king, uh, like a terrifying face, but with the key in there, it just looks like it's got a Pinocchio nose and they can't take it seriously. <laughs> the haunted Deku tree. Oh boy, do I get a slingshot? Enter my mouth, young boy. If you dare! Oh wait, the boss is stairs! Oh, I forgot yeah. that. Okay, Rocky theme. <laughs> bum, bum, Trevor bum, Belmont bum. just shat his pants. <laughs> Ba -da -da. <laughs> da -da -da. <laughs> I don't know why he says the boss is stairs. <laughs> Castlevania 3 was the first thing that popped into my mind. Oh, jeez. This looks like... <laughs> this looks like... The, the first truly open level map in Final Fantasy 13, Where it's, um... It's just stairs leading from platform to platform with fights that you can go through in various orders. Ah, you dick! <laughs> Poor Luigi's gonna have such a case of bark burn, it's ridiculous. Woodburn. <laughs> Woodburn. Same thing. Come on, almost there. God, fuck, 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 fuck. Hey, Everyone you know what? At least this makes Slinky's Slinky. incredibly entertaining. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I was, I was just, I just started singing the Slinky song for Mace Ventura. And huzzah! <laughs> or like how when you fall, they, they turn off the next few staircases to give you like a, an easy way to figure them out. Yeah, more or less. Yeah, but poor speedrunners though. That that's got to be a nightmare because every time you mess up, you lose a good like 30 seconds. <laughs> By the way, the boss is actually stairs. <laughs> It is actually stairs. Oh, man. I thought it was like a staple gun for some reason. I don't know why. Time to get the thing. Congratulations, we got another piece of the Waluigi boot. <laughs> I would have just liked one more troll where this stairs just collapsed. Now the dog comes back and takes that too. Oh, fuck you. Okay. <laughs> That's a horror story right there. How convenient. We're in a horror game. Oh, I hate getting these things stuck to your clothes. <laughs> well, that doesn't make any sense. <laughs> this is exactly what happens when you try to get one of those fucking things off. That or a piece of tape. Yeah, never go Such walking in the woods. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I think the lesson of today is, don't go outside. <laughs> Stay inside where video games and safety are. Introducing the new Pokemon Go app. Oh. <laughs> no, you can play that inside. Just buy a shit ton of incenses. And then you're good. <laughs> the only Pokemon I've caught... Pokemon come to be. The only Pokemon I've caught so far in Pokemon Go is an Execute, and I caught it on my bed. Should probably get that checked out. 
Oh, the desert level. Can we not do that one? Miyamoto! <laughs> Who built a mansion in the desert? Uh, Man, he even managed to stick a fucking desert level in Luigi's mansion. Just... <laughs> At this you know point... What? That's impressive. I'm not even upset. <laughs> except yes, I am. At I'm this not even point, mad. I'm pretty, That's sure amazing. He's, he, I'm pretty sure he's doing it to troll people. Desert level. Can we not? Hmm. We have to. Oh, man. Oh, I forgot these things were enemies. Ah. These parts are not bob -ombs. That would be too easy. And haunted towers with emeralds. Yeah, this is Ruby, so I wonder what's going to be next area. Oh no, this is set to daylight savings time. <laughs> but wait, we're in Arizona. I mean, that's the count here, so what time is it? Nope, there is. It's a pot. Oh, I thought it was like a golden barrel. It's like, what the fuck am I gonna do with this? Oh, this one unravels into gold bars, right? Yeah. That doesn't make any fucking sense. Oh, it's a key. <laughs> that, that makes even less. <laughs> yeah, it was golden wrapped in nice tin foil. Much to the dismay of Luigi, who thought it was actual gold. No, it's just gold colored tin. So who's more greedy, Luigi or Wario? Wario. It's not even a fucking Yeah, contest. but think about all the money that Luigi is stealing from the dead here. Like, that's that's an Indian they're, burial. They're dead. It's not like they're using it. Yeah, but that's only that's only because Luigi got here first. In terms of like actual level of greed, I would say Wario. Yeah, but think about all of the 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 curses that Luigi is putting Wario on. If Wario was here, he would eat the goddamn walls just to progress. If he knew there was cash on the other side. Well, there was cash in that wall. Luigi has the courtesy to knock on the door. <laughs> <laughs> I don't even remember what the whole goal of this area was. Other than like fuck got another Waluigi well, boot piece. <laughs> oh, I know that, but there's usually a different thing. Same thing you have to do to get it. Same thing as every area, Ted. Try to get the Waluigi piece. Waluigi isn't even in this game. It's the Waluigi boot piece. You see, the thing is that Luigi doesn't know that yet. <laughs> How do you know that if he was reconstructing this to build Luigi, Waluigi, he would have dropped Ted day one? Oh boy, we got the compass. Now we gotta find the map. Now for the treasure map. Okay. Oh, are we going to save the Waffle Kingdom? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> the most irritating thing in Zelda... It is a magical compass. <laughs> the most irritating thing in Zelda is finding the compass before the map. Because you don't know where anything it's pointing to actually is. Welcome back to Luigi's Mansion of Waluigi Moon. We're now going underground, so I guess we'll play the underground theme now. If it didn't play up until this point, now it's never going to play it ever. Uh, we found the marvelous compass, so now we're going to find the underground path to the Waffle Kingdom. At least that's what we want to happen. Ah, uh, this is, uh, the way it's looking right now, It's gonna, it just seems to be somebody's shitty zombie survival bunker. Like, they thought, oh man, all we just need is canned, co canned food, so they went to the supermarket once and got canned food. And forgot water and board games and all that other important stuff. Yeah, that was one of Voltec's less successful experiments. <laughs> Did that guy just whack us in the head with a rock? Yeah, while I was in the stun cutscene, so thanks for that game. Scary in a primal way of someone just picking up the nearest heavy object and braining you over the skull with it. I don't want to ever get murdered, although considering that I do YouTube videos, it'll well, probably who, who happen. <laughs> it'll probably happen. <laughs> but if I had to pick a way to die, getting uh, blunt force trauma and getting bludgeoned to death would not be part of it, because you probably won't die instantaneously unless they get you right on the head. So, you know, that shit hurts. <laughs> you feel mm -hmm. like your bones snap and shit. Yeah, oh wait, I remember it now. The like the, the ghost baby Chauncey is the first um boss. boss yeah. 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 So they, they make a big deal to say that that baby was like born as a ghost. But the twins weren't, so you know. Like it's okay, we can't kill an infant, but two five year olds, that's okay. That's How are fun. you born You're a ghost? <laughs> uh They're in cahoots. You see, the reason why Boo has to have this guy uh, follow him around is because he can't hold anything with his stubby little hands. It's actually a very sad existence. I take it that if you open the other container, it will explode. It'll pop out a bomb, yeah. <laughs> and honestly, if that happens, you're an idiot. Yeah. <laughs> you saw exactly which one it went into. <laughs> It does have to be shown, okay? 
Yeah, it could have been a, a terror bomb, and I'd love the 4th of July. Yeah, God what, guy? Damn it, If Professor. he calls you to say, that's a door. Ah, <laughs> uh, static. Ah, uh, shit, we're playing fucking... This is, that was the worst man. game of Wheel of Fortune ever. <laughs> <laughs> Wheel of Fortune or Hangman. <laughs> it's, like, it's like Mad Libs, only you pick a random letter instead of a random word, and it's not as funny. Yeah, because you can't say dicks as a letter. Like, that's at least four letters. It takes way more work to be sexual than that. No, nah, dicks is a letter. You. I don't get it. You never will. <laughs> <laughs> oh, now I get it. You're an asshole. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, you're... You know what? Oh, looks... I've never... Well, speaking of mummies... <laughs> I've never Ghosts actually... don't die, but plumbers do. <laughs> oh, no, he just sort of spontaneously fell asleep. Yeah, he, t he self drains his zero and his narcolepsy kicks in. Thanks, ghost dog. <laughs> what? I'm tired. I, th I think part of it was just a business thing where it took a while for companies to realize that teenagers were a marketable demographic. Where there was what? kind of, <laughs> it's they're I'm more not... marketable than kids. Kids have to get their parents to buy stuff. Teenagers can buy no, no, stuff I, on I, their I, own. I'll, I'll buy it. I'll buy it. You ah. slob of spit. Luigi is so proud of that two-star rank. <laughs> I am player two, after all. If he didn't die, he probably would have gotten a three-star, considering how much gold he sucked up. Yeah. But then someone had to take a nap. Yeah, I don't care. The rankings don't mean anything. This isn't a true 100% playthrough. 